We're now joined on the sports mix by the Musselman Appleman football head coach, Brian Thomas. Coach Thomas, great to finally catch up with you once again. Yeah, I haven't talked to you guys in a while, probably since uh, last year, end of the year playoff game. Yeah, that and then said hello, I guess, during uh, the Little League Baseball, since you were yeah, coaching there. Yeah, I saw there, you but... guys. Yep, saw you guys out there. Yeah, broadcast and doing all that. That was great. Thanks for that coverage. Yep, now we're in football mode, and uh, season gets started for you guys Saturday at John Hanley. But first question, uh, I guess, is your expectation for this year? I mean, always excited. Always excited to start a new year and see things kind of come together see things kind of come together a little bit and then you know just kind of putting it all put it all in and, and you know another off season done another preseason camp done and you know you, you 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 get reps and you're just excited to see it all come together coach you had a lot of guys uh leave the program some of them obviously due to graduation and then you had several transfers um obviously you can't do anything to control any of that but uh i guess What's, I guess, the message to the team heading into this season, and um, how are you replacing those guys with probably a young team, I would presume? Um, yeah, you know, the, the, I mean, the message is, you know, continue to work hard and, and, you know, give everything you got in life. I mean, that's really the message for any person to be successful in life is, um, you know, control the controllables and, you know, work hard in everything you do. You know, we, we have really good kids um, on our team, and I'm really excited about this group of young men that we have, you know, it's, it's kind of weird because a lot of people have asked me that question about being a young team and, and we're, we really, you know, we really aren't, I would say inexperienced is probably the word before young. Um, I think, you know, I think we're only starting two sophomores right now. So it's not really a young team. Uh, you know, we got a lot of juniors and, and seniors, you know, some of those guys are guys that have kind of came up in our program over the years uh, that have kind of been developed a little bit. So, you know, we're you know really excited about just the group of kids that we have. Tell us a little bit more about uh, some of the kids that you have in this year's program and what we can expect from them. Um, I mean, some of them are returners. You know, some of them are returners from last year. Some of them are guys that carried the ball a little bit last year. Um, you know, we got we got guys that are, I think are are ready to kind of break out a little bit. You know, you got uh, Zach Miller is a big key for us. Nate Laser is a big key for us. Uh, Jaden Ryan um, is a big key. They're kind of our, our been our ball carriers up to this point. So you know, looking forward to, to all those guys and the opportunity that they get. Last year, heading into the year, uh, there was a lot of talk about obviously the quarterback position and how you would replace uh, Baden Hartman. You don't have Thompson and you don't have um, Fleming who who graduated so uh, what's the quarterback position look like for your team this year and who are some guys that you think uh, could take over that spot I mean I, I've, I've always been for the mindset that you have to be a run team first you know or we're, we've had a lot of years to success here since I've been a Muscleman and you know every year that we've had a lot of success we've been a we've been a run first team you know even even a couple years ago we had Ray Adamas who was a a, you know arguably the best receiver maybe in school history we were still a run first get after you team um so you know you got to be able to run the football so having said that you know quarterback position football is a funny sport because it's shifted over time everybody thinks that you know hey let's let's spread it out let's do this let's do that I want to line up and play in a phone phone booth sometimes and and run right at people so um you know, having said that, Zach Miller is going to, you know, Zach Miller will throw the ball for us. He's also going to carry the ball for us. Zach's a unique, a unique kid. Um, he's an awesome kid. You know, I love Zach, but uh, Zach's kind of a, Zach can sling the ball, but Zach's also kind of got a fullback body a little bit to him where, you know, he'll, he'll run the ball and he's an aggressive runner. Something new for your program uh, is the fact that you guys will have a, turf field at home now have you had the time to be able to start practices on the turf field yet and if so how much has uh that change i guess been in your mind a change um we haven't practiced on it yet we just got cleared this weekend um actually today is the the first practice that we're going to have on it so um you know we're excited to get get going and be on it this week a little bit I, i don't know there's pros and cons of both sides i'm a little bittersweet like i'm a Personally, myself, I like the natural grass. Um, I like to, I like to feel the grass. Uh, you know, I like to, 
I like kind of the old school throwback. You know, everybody's got all this fancy turf, and we're sitting there, you know, with with the grass, and you know, you smell the fresh cut grass, and you smell the paint line. You know, I got out of my car the other day, and I just smelled rubber. So all those beets and and just getting off, giving off that scent. So you know, I'm gonna miss the grass, but at the same time, you know, I'm also excited about the turf. You know, kind of kind of updates everything a little bit, and, and uh, you know, it looks good, uh, it looks nice. You know, we'll be we'll be able to get on our game field more, which you know, in the past we haven't got on in a lot. So yeah, we're gonna be excited about that. So, coach, you mentioned trying to be more of a run first football team this year. Uh, will we anticipate then some changes to the scheme offensively? Will you be more of a wing T, or, or what's the plan there? Yeah, we're gonna run. We're gonna run a lot of tight end, a lot of wing stuff, which really isn't any different from what we've done before in the past. I mean, we, we've had we had years where um, you know we we had we had a tight end in our program. So um, you know, you, our our semifinal year, 2018, uh, we played Ethan Wilson. Ethan Wilson was a one. I mean, he's one of the best all around football players. Now I've coached and I've been here a month. He's a great tight end. Uh, and then you know, in, in 2019, 2020, we ran a two tight end system. So we ran double tight. Um, Colin Newland and uh, Logan Herring were our two tight ends. So we, you know, we've had a lot of tight ends over the year. So we have a really good one this year. Uh, Josh Armand Trout, who's uh, a, he's a basketball player at the school. He's, he's a big, strong kid, physical, athletic. So um, you know, we're look, looking forward uh, to him. You know, being able to get in and get those reps. Let's focus in on your week one opponent uh, Saturday afternoon at John Hanley. Tell us a little bit about that matchup. They're one of the best teams we're going to see the entire year. Um, I, I watched both their scrimmages live. Um, you know, I, I, I think, in my opinion, I think they're probably one of the best three teams on our schedule. Um, I think they're really a really, really good team. Uh, they're big. Uh, they're physical. You know, they got a line that's committed to Wake Forest that uh, is is – as good, if not the best, we'll see all season. He's really, really good. We played him last year, and we saw him last year, but he's gotten even – when I watch him in the scrimmage, I think he's gotten even bigger and even stronger. So, you know, he's a really good player. Uh, they got a running back that's just a, a, a bull, man. He'll run you over. So, um, you know, he's going to be one of the best running backs we see all year. So, uh, defensively, they get after it. Uh, they're really, really big up front. Uh, it's a really good team. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a tough test for us, you know, and, and – and we're going into their place, you know, on a Saturday afternoon. So, um, you know, it's going to be a, a, an exciting environment. So, you know, we got to we got to play good football. Uh, we got to be ready to play because uh, you know we got we got a really good team in front of us. Who have been some guys that have uh, stood out to you on the defensive side for your team? Uh, man, we got a lot of names. Um, Josh Armand Trout, we mentioned before, he's been playing really well at defensive end for us. Um, Nate Lazier, we mentioned earlier, he's been playing well. Um, Taron Boyles, Taron's a three-year starter for us, so you know he'll be he'll be back. He, he he's really good at first Trent Shade. Um, he's been playing linebacker for us. You know he's been a three-year starter for us. Uh, you know really excited about those guys. Um, uh, Jane Ryan, we mentioned earlier. Caleb Ford is a kid that's a, a really good player in the secondary for us. Uh, Chris Schlack's a good player for us. So, yeah, you know, we're, we're excited about, um, you know, everybody defensively. Uh, we've been playing, we've been playing pretty well. I, th- I think both of our scrimmages, uh, I think we've, we've performed well defensively. All right, switch over to, I guess, a broad spectrum. The move to a four-class system in the state for uh, all sports, but in football it has been dwindled down now to 16 teams. So congratulations on making the playoffs this year, (laughs) Coach. Uh, But uh, more so, I just want to get your thoughts, I guess, on the uh, four-classification system, if you have any. Yeah, somebody told me a rumor. Somebody told me a rumor. They didn't think we were good. We might have a down year, and not be that good. And I said, "Ha! Huh, I bet you we make the playoffs again." So there we go. We won. We won that bet. So um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of it personally. You know, I, I. I. I don't. I'm not a believer that hey everybody gets in and we're just going to throw everybody in there. I'm not. I'm not a. That's just, I don't know. That's not the way that. That's not my belief in sports, and that's not how I believe things should be done. You know, they're they're. You either get you earn your way in or, or you're not in at all. So um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, I don't think everybody should just be granted 
a way in. I, I don't know. There's a lot of there's. I'll be honest with you. There's a lot of rules right now in our state that I don't overly agree with, and I don't really, um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if we're in a great place right now in the state of West Virginia with with some of the some of the rules and some of the things that are in place that we're doing. Um, and, and you know, the whole re- reclassification thing, and then you know, everybody making the playoffs in our classification. I just I'm not a not a huge fan of. All right, coach. We're going to continue the uh, fun questions that we had last year for our final question nice. so nice our fun question this week is going to be outside of football what's your favorite sport oh um you know that's a good question that's a good question um probably the older i get it's probably baseball you know i've always enjoyed baseball and i didn't play baseball when i was younger uh, when i was in high school i ran track um but um i don't know i've always liked the sport and then, you know, my, my, my kids really like the sport and they both, they both play. So, you know, I probably enjoy watching my kids play baseball the most out of any sport that I watch them play in. So, um, and I, I like watching it on TV and I like some of the, some of the pitch clock changes and some of that stuff that they do. So yeah, I, I, I'd say that's probably a pretty easy baseball on that one. All right, coach. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for having me guys. Thanks for having me guys.